Okay, so what are we doing today? We're going to put my iPhone, do a short little uh, video on the road, see how this turns out. So we're going to put my iPhone here. That's all I have. I don't have a GoPro or shit like that. So we're going to see what happens. Going to see how the vibration is, sound quality. Been procrastinating for a long time about doing this I keep thinking yeah I want to start doing this on a regular basis I've got information I'd like to share there I just plugged in my mic I don't know how the sounds gonna be but anyway it is what it is I don't have a choice like I say I don't have a GoPro and stuff so anyway we'll mount it here now this this mount was like $25 on Amazon this is my second one the first one I was hit by a car on my motorcycle, rear end. He's doing 30 miles an hour. I'm stopped at a stoplight. Didn't touch his brakes until he rear-ended me. Went flying down the road, still on my bike, down on the left side, slid down the road, did a 180. The bike came to a standstill at that point. I fell off. My phone was still here. Never came off. The mount wasn't broken. My phone wasn't broken. The reason that the mount got broken is when I'm laying on the road, I asked somebody who came to get my phone off the mount. They said, how do you get it off? I said, push the button, push the button. What I meant was this button here. It like releases it and then see that? And then it springs out, right? I don't know what they did, but anyway, they ended up breaking my mount. Um, so I bought another one exactly the same and that's what we're using so we'll put that in and we're gonna find out make sure this is tightened up I mean, once you get this sucker tightened it doesn't move so we're gonna head down the road just for a bit of a short drive and we're gonna see how this whole experiment turns out and you can join me um, because I've got a couple other ideas for a video that I want to do um, regarding some maintenance tips that I've figured out and been told some possibly incorrect information on. Also, I um, want to show you guys some of the parts, including my Screaming Eagle mufflers that I put on which I'm having issues with and trying to deal with the dealership insurance and so on to get that resolved. So, well, I can see there at an idle, it's vibrating like crazy. But anyway, we'll uh, go out, see what happens. Maybe I can't use this setup for videotaping while I'm riding. We'll see. And I'm not sure how the outside noise is going to be. But anyway, like I say, it is what it is. I don't have the money to buy expensive camera equipment and shit like that. So, nobody can complain. If you bitch about it, send me a GoPro and I'll be glad to use it and make everything better. Otherwise, don't bitch. So I'm just gonna go for a quick jaunt. Um, I'm here in Vancouver, British Columbia. And uh, where we're gonna go, I live really close to UBC. University of British Columbia, it's pretty famous. Um, worldwide famous, at least there's a lot of Asian people that come here to go to UBC. And uh, it's a nice drive. It's a huge university. They actually wanted to take themselves out of the city of Vancouver and they wanted to form their own city. Um, since they use a uh, different police force anyways, they use a provincial police force just on their property, not the city of Vancouver police. 
relief. But I guess the city of Vancouver realizing the value of the property and the taxes they collect said, no, you can't leave. So we'll take a drive around uh, the outskirts of UBC and you'll be able to check that out. One thing I don't want to do on this channel is make moto vlogs where for 15 minutes you just see them driving down a road for 15 minutes straight. I don't want to do that. So we'll try and make this quick and I'll edit, try and edit some of the stuff out. Again, I'm only using the iPhone, so I just use the editing software on the iPhone and then I upload it to YouTube because I don't have a, led, a dedicated laptop for uh, a good uh, editing program and so on. there's some kind of stabilizing software that I can use on my iPhone. I have no idea. Sure looks weird on the screen anyway. See how it turns out. So this is the forest that kind of separates uh, UBC from Vancouver. It's called Pacific Regional, or Pacific Spirit Regional Park, or something like that. A lot of trails going through it. You can walk through or ride your mountain bike through it. But you cannot drive through it other than on the main roads and sort of split it. Just cutting through part of UBC here now. This is all UBC, UBC property. They've got apartment buildings, they've got malls, they've got grocery stores. I mean it's like it is like a little city unto its own. But technically still part of the city of uh, Vancouver. Sorry, this is all westbound we've been going here now. So now we're coming to the uh, furthest western edge of the university and there's a uh, road, it's called Marine Drive that goes around it and that's because the trees that are straight ahead of us, shortly beyond that there's sort of a cliff that goes down and then you end up at the water which is uh, the Strait of Georgia, part of the Strait of Georgia, which is basically Pacific Ocean, just not open ocean. And so now it'll be down to the left where the cliff is and, uh, and the water, and all to the right is all university property.
Down to the left there is, uh, there's actually a beach down there. It's called Wreck Beach. And it's actually a nudist beach. Although I've never personally been down there. Trust me, nobody really wants to see me naked anymore. But that's what I heard anyway. turn in a camper. That's pretty intelligent. Just looking for a spot to park. A lot of people park in their campers uh, around this area because uh, there are some spots where you can park where it's unrestricted, no time limits, and they actually uh, park and just like live there. Um, there's university students which will uh, pick up an old camper like that one in front of us there. Or even a van with a that's been sort of camperized, and uh, rather than paying rent and stuff like that, they'll live in that um, year-round while they're going to school. Still all university property. It's called the University Endowment Lands. It's basically land that was given to the university over the years and uh, there's actually houses here not sure how it works I'm not sure if they own the house but don't own the property um, because it's university property or not really sure how that works with the houses here but some pretty nice uh, Nice houses. So here we're going out of the university pro property and there's Pacific Regional, Pacific Spirit Regional Park again. And 
it again. We're just cutting through a different section of it. It's a huge park. pretty cold here the last couple days going down to freezing at night and uh, maybe only like 44 degrees or something like that in the daytime a little chilly not enough to plug the electric vest in just for around the city if I was heading out on the highway then I would plug the electric vest in but you pretty well need to have gloves on nowadays. Straight ahead you can see the view of uh, more downtown Vancouver with the high rises there. I'm not sure if you can see it actually, all the vibration that's going on with this. Maybe it's the phone mount. Maybe I need a different mount for doing videos. Don't know. But it is a Harley after all. It's not the smoothest running thing in the world. It's not the smoothest, but it's real comfortable. Looks good. try and post things a little bit more often sometimes I just get lazy that's half of it half of it is getting used to the whole YouTube thing but it is something I'd like to do If you want to see some really good channels you should check out uh, Black Dragon Biker TV it's really good also uh, Demon's Row TV was Sos the Ghost Pound Ghostin if you want to learn about uh, motorcycle club culture both of those channels are really good Scotty Kirix has got a really good channel. I like watching Scotty and listening to his thoughts. He's down in the uh, U.S. and he's, uh, well, he lives off his motorcycle. That's what he does. I mean, they call him a motorcycle vagabond. I don't know. I really like that term vagabond. I mean, it's maybe not derogatory. It's what he is, I guess. But, I mean, he's a, seems like a real decent guy he's got interesting content and again like I say he lives off his motorcycle I mean it's, it's one of those things that uh, people maybe fantasize about or are curious about but uh, it's really good 
I like watching Scotty. So we're just heading back towards my place now. We'll wrap this thing up and uh, see how it all turns out without uh, editing or anything fancy. Just the vibrating wonky stuff that it is. And there we go. So, see you next time. And they won't be long, boring rides like this. I guarantee it. Take care.